Hi everyone, welcome back. Now it's time to practice on the paintbrush tool and pencil tool. I'll use this one. You can find this folder, I mean this file in the resource folder. And I've already prepared this one picture for you like this. Then I'm going to the object and log this one uh, picture. And now we will go ahead and redraw this one with the paintbrush tool. Now double click on the paintbrush tool, we are going to change some of the settings. Make sure that keep selected is unchecked and make the smoothness like this. And now we will start with the head. Use the square brackets keys on the keyboard to change the size of the brush. We are going to change the color to black, just click on this icon. And I will make the brush smaller a bit. And now go ahead and draw. As you can see, you may not get what you want in the first try. Right now, I'm going to try my best to make it uh, work. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to control Z and create it again. Especially if you are using the mouse. Right now, I'm using the mouse. That's why I cannot uh, make it right in the first attempt. If you don't have a Wacom tablet or a pen, just try your best to recreate with the mouse. As I said, I'm also using the mouse. So just like this, we created the pick of the swan. Now I want to adjust this area. I'll double click on the brush, enable the keep selected, and now make sure that you select the line like this, and now paint brush, and redraw the areas that you want. Okay, now double click on it again, Disable the keep selected so we can create another line and you will create this area. Make sure you draw your line inside the pick just like this because you are going to use the shape builder later so it will work better like this. Make sure that your lines are crossing each other. Now I'm going to create the other part of the body and I will start from here. Now we need to enable the keep selected. I will double click on the brush and check the keep selected so we can continue drawing over this line. But make sure you select it first and then press before the brush tool and redraw like this. It doesn't need to be perfect at the first time or it doesn't need to be perfect at all because we can come to it later and try to smoothen it as much as we can. This part is not very easy. I will do my best to make something that works. Okay, like this is good. Let's draw over this area. Okay, let's keep it like this. Actually, let's draw it again. Okay, I'll go ahead and continue drawing. And make sure it crosses this line. Now we can come over here again and redraw this area. Okay, now let's create the wing. I'm going to double click on this, keep selected and check it, press OK. And now we are ready to create the wing. Oh, it's not what I want. Command or Control Z. I'll create it again. Make sure you select it. Create something like this and press on the Alt or Option to close your shape. So just like this, we created the wing. Now I want to refine some of the lines, especially the head. As you can see, it's not very good. So I'm going to select it. Right now, the keep selected is uh, checked for me. Make sure it is checked for you as well. And you can draw over it like this to recreate this line. Okay, now let's add these details to the peak. We have the nose and also the peak of the peak, which is this area. And then you are going to create the nose like this. Press on the Alt to close it. 
I didn't like it. Let's create it again. Press on the Alt to close it like this. Okay, the next thing we are going to select all of the lines, go to the Shape Builder tool. We will create the wing like this. Click on this area, click on this one, this one, and this one. Like this, you are making these line shapes actually, and we can color them later. So make sure you are doing something like this. You are going to remove this line. I'm pressing on the Alt or Option to remove the lines. So just like this, we combined our shapes. We can go ahead now and color our shapes. We will start with the wing. Just select the wing and we are going to add the gradient to it. Go to the gradient tool and we are going to add some of the colors to it. I'll choose one of these uh, swatches that we have. And then go to the colors and change to the another color. I'm going to make it yellow and this one will be um, maybe orange. You need to choose a color first and then you will have these sliders to change to any color that you want. We will make it something orange or red actually. Something like this will be good. I'll change the stroke size. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and color the body of this one. I'm going to add the gradient again and I'll change the color of the gradient. I'll make it combination of two grays, very light grays. Something like this is good. This area we will make a combination of uh, dark grays or actually maybe black. Let's make it this one and this one will be very dark gray. Okay, we are good. For this part, I'm going to get it from here. Just press I and get it from the wing. Let's change the color a bit. We will make the pick more orange and this part of the pick, I'm going to press I, make sure it is selected, press I and get the color from the pick. Now for the nose, I'm going to get the color from this area. And something that you are missing is the eye. I'm going to the brush tool and I will try to create an eye. I'll make something black like this and then change the color to white and paint over it like this. Or actually I'm just going to use white. Let's create something. Oh, let's change the color to white or gray. Very light gray. Let's keep it like this, we are good. Now it's time to remove the background. I'll go to the object, unlock all, remove the background picture. Now I'm going to duplicate the wing. I'll make two copies. I'm pressing on the option or alt. And move it up like this. Use the rotation tool. Ah, oh, I just missed it. Where is the rotation? It's over here. You can press R as well for the rotation tool. Bring the anchor point over here and rotate it like this. I'll just move it down a bit and change the color to something else. Let's combine these two colors together, green and blue. Now let's create the other copy. I'll just press on the Alt or Option and bring it up like this. Use the rotation tool, bring the anchor point over here and rotate it like this. Then go to the selection tool and move it down, sorry. Okay, just like this. Now we are going to change the color for this one. Let's go to the color. Actually, we're going to use the gradient. We need to make it something like uh, purple, but also we need to use the gradient. Go to the gradient tool, add this gradient and change it like this. I'm going to combine two purples together. So just like this, we created the wings. Now the body of this one, the below this part is not very perfect. I will select it, go to the brush tool and redraw this area. 
As I said, make sure that the keep selected is checked on the settings. You can actually use the smooth tool. If you just press on the Alt or Option, you will change it to the smooth tool. And just like this, we fix this area very easy. Now let's go to the peak of the peak. We will change this to something more yellowish, as we said. Let's go to the gradient tool, double click on this orange. We are going to make it more yellow. Okay, and just like this, we created our swan using only the brush tool. Now you can select all of them and remove the stroke if you want to. It looks nicer like this, or you can also select them again and add your stroke back if you want to. Okay, this will be the end of this lesson. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to use the blob brush tool to color this one. So we are going to recolor this one in the next lesson using a new tool. See you there. Bye bye.